Uh, watch parties are never fun when you lose. But hey, at least there was a watch party in Moraga tonight, and Vern Glenn was there for the free food. Vern, you invaded Tom Brady's parents' house during the Super Bowl. Who's the lucky family tonight? <laughs> I felt like I had a whole bunch of families in here today. It was a huge, huge capacity crowd inside of Dryden Hall here on the campus of St. Mary's. They've been replaced by two or three study groups right now. But boy, hours ago, if you could just check the temperature and the energy, you would have thought the entire student body of 3,500 was jammed in here. You think they were into it? Everybody loves showing up here, going crazy for our team because we love our guys, man. St. Mary's Dryden Hall was absolutely packed. Worth the wait? I've been here since 7 a.m. You know, I had, I had a class at 8 a.m. So yeah. people are pumped the whole day. I went to I went to Safeway earlier today, and people are saying go Gales and everything. So, you know, the energy was there. They almost no. They will the Gales to beat defending champion Villanova. Match every significant offensive stat. Except the score. You know, I went to every game this season, you know, and I, I just, I love this basketball team. And uh, it's just, it hurts right now. And I, I just glad I could put my all out there, put my full energy into it. And uh, I'm just, I'm proud of these guys. That's all I can say. Hey, I get it. Hey, somebody's got to tell that young fella that the sun will certainly shine tomorrow. And as has been said in this program so far, yeah, they lose one senior. And yeah, St. Mary's four and six in those first round games. But hey, Dennis, you just asked Coach Belwamity what just grates on him the most when he was coaching. He'll say turnovers. How about the double digit figures that Villanova had? off of the St. Mary's turnovers. Yes. That'll do it for Moraga. Yeah, certainly in the second half. And Vern, uh, I'm sure that the Roundup Saloon in Lafayette is busy tonight. Uh, Vern, <laughs> good morning from St. Mary's. Thanks a lot, Vern.